Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Martin's potato chips. These are just the regular, uh, it says kettle cooked, hand cooked potato chips. And these are the kettle gold. They are sea salt and balsamic vinegar kettle cooked. And these are just regular kettle cooked jalapeno. So we're saving the hot ones for last. Yeah. The spicy ones for last. These are made in Thomasville, Pennsylvania, www.martinssnacks.com. One ounce, 28 grams, about 18 chips is 150 calories. And these are just, yeah, regular potato chips. With they look like kettles. Lots of fold over. Kettles usually do. Which I love. It's an okay plain chip. It needs more salt. A lot more salt. I like the flavor of the chip, mm -hmm. but I'm going to agree with Kevin. That's what I was thinking. If you don't like a lot of salt or you uh, or, lightly or, or you mm -hmm. need something that doesn't have a lot of salt, this would be the way to go because I, I don't feel like they have a lot of I salt. I bet you they have a lot of sodium in them, but you don't taste that. Yeah. Sorry, I, if I see one that's like curled that bad, I just have to eat it. <laughs> um, the sodium is 130, so let's see what it's like in the sea salt balsamic vinegar. 120. Yeah. So that has more That's what salt. I'm saying. It probably has plenty of salt in it. It just doesn't come through. It's more potato-y. Yes, you can really taste the flavor of the potato, although it's not too much. No, it's I good. I really do like the quality of that. Yeah. I, I think it's a very good potato mm -hmm. chip. And I think you would get used to it not. It just doesn't have as the saltiness of re other regular yeah. potato chips. Yeah, I agree. I think even their regular potato chips doesn't have as much salt. So these are called Kettle Gold because they're made with the golden light taste of sunflower uh, oil. That's why they called them uh, Kettle Gold. Sea salt and balsamic vinegar. 150 calories for 18. Balsamic can be really strong. They look just like those. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, these look like they're coated. Right, pretty good vinegar flavor. Oh, wow. You know, that's nice. It's got a good vinegar flavor, but it's not uh, like an overwhelming vinegar flavor. I'm going to be very honest with you. It tastes very similar to uh, the white vinegar. Mm-hmm. Just, yeah, just white, regular vinegar. white vinegar. Yeah, white vinegar. So, so I'm used to taking a cucumber, slicing it up, and putting it in a bowl of cold water and adding some white vinegar to it, and it has a really nice flavor. Uh, that reminds me of that yeah. same vinegar that I put Instead in that bowl of Instead of the darker balsamic vinegar. Yes. I like it. I like it too. They're they're good. And if you like vinegar, I think you'll like them. But I agree. But yeah. just know that it is that More white, white vinegar. Yeah, white vinegar flavor. The yeah. same vinegar that you would put in a dressed eggs. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. They're good. So it's not the typical, the traditional vinegar that I'm used to. Right. But I still like the quality of them very much. These are the jalapeno. These are the ones I'm looking forward to the most. 18 chips, 150 calories. And you can, ooh, you can see a difference in these. And they smell. Yeah, these are orange. They smell orange. Why they'd be orange for jalapeno, but. Hmm, they have a good flavor to them. I'm waiting for the burn. Hmm, there's a little tingle there, but not. It's not overwhelming. Does it, do you get a little bit of chili powder on most flavor to it? Yes. Wonder why they didn't call that chili jalapeno. Let me see. Yeah, they got like a chili powder. Jalapeno kind of seasoning, jalapeno pepper, onion powder, turmeric, garlic powder, red and green bell peppers, uh, extratives of paprika. I tell you what. 
They not. missed the opportunity of calling those uh, chili jalapeno because that's what it tastes like. like. Those are, yeah. I think they're awesome. If you don't like I any spice of food that. whatsoever at all, you wouldn't want to eat them. But if you like just a little, if you don't mind a little spice, just a little tingle in the back of your throat, I think you'll like these. They're because really you can actually taste the pepper all those, and the yes. green pepper and the onion. And yes, all those little spices in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you pick you up You actually get those and it's not just jalapeno. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, You don't get that just green pepper flavor. No, not at all. There's so many layers to these. Mm -hmm. they're, the, really good. they're unbelievably good. You all have to let us and they're know a softer, if you've tried these. They're a softer kettle chip than, than some. Yes. But, and that could be just the batch we have too. Sometimes they you know they're a little different. But uh, these seem softer even than the other two. Well this out of the three, this is my Mine favorite. Too. This this yeah. is really, really good. It's I love good. these. Um, and then second, I'm honestly, I would probably just pick the regular, the regular ones. ones. Me too. Yeah, the, the vinegar are good. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just not the vinegar that I want when I'm going to a chip. It's yeah. not, there's nothing wrong with it um, at all. But these are, these are very, a hit. very good. Um, Almost like a dip. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to add one thing to these. No. And it's not so hot that it's going to overpower. No, you could keep eating those and not just be on fire the whole yes, time. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so I will have a picture of these for you at the end, and thanks for watching.